Hey, what's up guys, it is Saints fan, and welcome back. In this Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some more information regarding the Halloween DLC, which we still do not know when it's coming out, but I mean, it's pretty much confirmed by now that it is coming out. Hopefully one day next week after the Lowrider event weekend happening right now, we'll get some more information. But first thing I wanna show you guys are the prices of the vehicles. Now, I'm gonna throw up a picture on the screen. As you can see, the two prices there, 6666666, and then 540,000. Uh, the Lurcher, which is the Buccaneer Hearst Hybrid, that's the one that's sixes across the board. And then the B-Type, that's the one that's like the Hot Knife Roosevelt looking car. That one is $540,000. Now, obviously, there's going to be some customization, so that's just the base price. But it'll give you an idea of how much, if you want to purchase these vehicles, you're going to need to spend. And you can say they cost a lot, but they are limited vehicles, so it's kind of similar to the Roosevelt. They're only going to be there for, you know, maybe a week or so. If you want them grab them get the money if not don't worry about it but i think they're really cool i mean i did a video earlier uh, on thursday i think showcasing the vehicles but there are the prices now fun mw2 actually gave us some more information about the blackout mode that we've been seeing or that people have been seeing in the game files so there are going to be halloween jobs there's going to be this new adversary mode called slasher and if you look at this picture you can see the description it says a new adversary mode slasher is now available the lone slasher must take out the hunted using a shotgun. The aim of the hunted is survival with only a flashlight to defend themselves. Once the timer runs out, the tables are turned and the hunted are given shotguns. You are being hunted, hunt down the slasher. Sounds pretty cool. I don't think we know how many people it actually uh, can hold, but it, that might be a pretty fun adversary mode. So as you can see from Fun MW2's tweets, this one, Halloween jobs are going to feature a blackout and a time cycle modifier called No Pedlight. And he explains a little bit more. They're going to use the set blackout native, which disables all emissive textures and lights like city lights, car lights, etc. In addition to that, you're going to be hearing some new ambient noises in these Halloween jobs, like other players breathing near you. So it, it'll be pretty creepy, I think. And again, just to explain a little bit more what the blackout will be, it'll be kind of like the Humane Labs EMP, but with more effects to hide players slash pedestrian light. So this actually looks pretty fun. A lot of people were hoping this would be in free mode. It makes sense, though, that it wasn't just because, you know, that obviously would force people onto this idea for like a week. So far, though, this sounds like one of the coolest, you know, adversary modes that they're going to be adding. Hopefully this stays around and this isn't just like a Halloween exclusive if it's just in the adversary mode. I think that'd be really awesome. Let me know what you guys think, though. What you're seeing in the background is actually some blackout gameplay from uh, the single player. This is a mod. And what you're probably going to see in that adversary mode and in the Halloween jobs is something similar to this. So this will give you somewhat of an idea of what you're going to be dealing with. Now, obviously, I'm not showing off the flashlight here, but I think it'll be pretty fun. So I'm looking forward to it. Again, hopefully we get some more information on it next week, early next week at least. Thank you guys for watching, though. Got some more videos coming out later today. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.